Shivute said that the study is the first of its kind and it will help Namibia achieve its plan of becoming the regional logistic hub by serving the entire Southern African development community. I'm very happy that at least today we launched the time release study in Namibia, first for its kind in Namibia. Now, Namibia a Revenue Agency, we are committed to become a world-class revenue agency, serving with passion to positively impact the livelihood of every Namibian. One of our strategic uh, objectives at NAMRA is to provide custom and excise services that facilitate legitimate trade in Namibia. Now, we do know that Namibia is a member of the World Customs Organization and also World Trade Organization. Now, the World Trade Organization uh, Trade Facilitation Agreement, specifically uh, se uh, Article 7.6, does provide or requires that member states, they must be able to measure the times that they take to release goods, goods that have been imported or exported in their respective country, and they must also publish that time as well. Donia Hamani, a cross-border trade and policy expert at World Custom Organization, indicated that the time release study will help measure the effectiveness of custom reform projects and stimulate Namibian trade. The time and release study is a tool to help you identify um, room for improvement and then to measure in the future the effectiveness of any customs reform projects or other border agencies projects uh, towards uh, quicker, less costly, less burdensome cross-border trade.